Layouts help us organize content on our page. A layout is composed of a section, some rows, and some columns. This layout system enables us to have a responsive design that looks great on all screen sizes from mobile to desktop. Let's create a layout. Start by dragging the layout element from your sidebar. The layout element creates all the necessary structure for you. Let's go to the layouts tab to see what we have so far. You can see that a section was created inside of which there is a row and two columns. You can also see that on the page itself. Here is the column. If I select the parent element, there is the row. And if I go up to the parent of the row, I am now selecting the section. Great. Let's populate the columns with some content. I have prepared some content here, so I will just drag it up. Now this looks good. Notice what happens when I go to the mobile preview. The two columns are stacked on top of each other. I can adjust the text to look good on mobile. Maybe update the text margin. Now the section looks good on both mobile and desktop. If you want to resize your columns, you can simply drag the handle between them left and right. The number of columns you have and their spacing can be managed from the columns parent row. Now, say you have this layout with two columns and you want to have four columns instead. Very easy. Let's select the parent row and click add column twice to create two extra columns. Columns can also be duplicated. If you want to replicate the same design across multiple columns, you can simply copy and paste the column using Command-C on the Mac or Control-C on the PC and then paste the column using Command-V or Control-V. You can also just duplicate the column using Command-D or Control-D or click the duplicate icon next to the column. You can adjust the vertical and horizontal spacing for your columns using these two sliders here. The columns per line option sets the number of columns to show on each line. Remember that one row can have more than one line of columns. This option is very useful as it lets you control the number of lines to show on each device. For example, this four columns layout can have four columns on the same line on desktop. However, on mobile, it looks better if we only have two columns per line. By default, layouts are boxed, meaning the content of the page is always centered in the middle. If you want your layout to take the full width of the page, select your section and change the layout option from boxed to white. If however you want to control the boxed layout size, go to the layers panel, scroll all the way up and find the body element. Here you can set the maximum width of your boxed layout. This will affect the container width of all the sections that have a boxed layout in order to keep them all perfectly aligned. And that's it. A layout is composed of a section, rows and columns. Columns can be managed from the parent row element and the layout width can be set on the section element.